Hi. If you're watching this video, chances are you have a Sansa C240 or C250 MP3 player, and you want to install Rockbox on it. So, in order to do that, you have to have the right hardware. Initially, Sansa made V1 hardware for the C240 and for some early model C250s. Then they changed the chipset, and they made some more C250s, so those are the late model C250s. If you have a refurbished C250, it's probably an old one and probably uses the old chipset. And the primary difference between them otherwise is just the internal storage size, one gig versus two. Uh, I have a C250 V1, an older version uh, here, and that's compatible with Rockbox. The new ones are not. First thing we need to do is figure out which version of hardware that you have. And to do that, turn on the player, and I'm assuming you still have your old factory firmware on it. And uh, once you get to your light blue background menu, go over to the settings option and uh, press the center button and then go down to system info and press center button again and look on the screen for where it says version near the top. Um, if it starts with 01 dot you're in business for Rockbox. USB. You're gonna have to hook your player up to your PC in order to deploy some of the files and the best thing to do in my opinion is to use the mass storage device mode of the player uh, this is also called Mass Storage Class, MSD, MSC. It goes by a few different names, but the general idea is that most operating systems have drivers already built in to support that mode. On Windows, it'll probably get assigned a drive letter automatically, like E, F, something like that. Uh, on Linux, it'll probably at least appear under slash dev slash SD star, uh, and then you can just mount it yourself. Anyway, once your player's hooked up to your computer and you see it as a, a drive, then uh, you need to do two things. You need to run the Sansa Patcher tool to change the bootloader on the player, and then you need to copy the actual Rockbox application files onto the player's internal storage, then reset your player. So, the first part is um, the bootloader. Uh, basically how most uh, computer-like devices work is they have a small, tiny program called the bootloader, and all it does is it has enough brains to start the larger program. And uh, the hardware doesn't know anything. The hardware just jumps to a certain spot and starts executing, and that's where the bootloader lives. So what the Sansa Patcher will do is modify your bootloader to allow it to launch the Rockbox application instead of the factory application. And uh, if you ever want to get the factory application back when the Rockbox um, bootloader is running, if you hold left, that'll tell the uh, Rockbox bootloader to skip itself and then you'll get the old firmware back. And it's just temporary until you restart the player again. The first thing you'll do is run Sansa Patcher, then it'll do a little change and it'll report success and then you're done that part. And the only other thing you have to do then is uncompress the contents of the Rockbox um, package. Usually it's called rockbox.zip or rockbox and then version number .zip. And you're going to extract the contents of that to the root directory of the drive. Once you've done that, you unplug your player and reset it, turn it off, turn it back on, and what will happen is the bootloader is now the Rockbox bootloader, it'll kick in, then it'll try to launch the Rockbox application. If you have any specific questions, please go to the Sansa C200 forums. Just to use your uh, web search engine to find Sansa C200 forum and uh, go there to the official forums. Search for your question first because there's a lot, a lot of common questions that have been answered. And I also recommend formatting your player before you do this whole thing. Whatever music you want to keep, take it off and then reformat your player so that you can start with a nice clean install and you don't get confused about which files are where and so on.